With all the Autel upgrades and version updates, it would be pretty nice to have a quick list to show the comparisons. Well, you've come to the right place. So just to give a quick overview, the Autel Evo 2 Enterprise is the same basic form factor of every other aircraft in the Autel Evo 2 line. This foldable drone deploys easily and features a robust 360 degree obstacle avoidance system. But let's talk about the advantages of the Enterprise model. You'll notice that the Evo 2 Enterprise features these carbon fiber arms, which are longer and lighter than the arms of the other models. And they come packaged with these specialized low noise propeller blades. The result is a more agile aircraft with longer flight times, higher speeds, and a noticeably quieter experience. The Enterprise model sports a listed flight time of 42 minutes and a top speed of 45 miles per hour. One additional feature that really sets it apart from the rest of the lineup is the ADS-B signal receiver, which keeps you informed of any known aircraft in the area for added safety and peace of mind. As you may know, Autel has been rolling out updated versions of the Evo product line over time. So what sets the new V3 apart from the now familiar V2? The most obvious detail is the addition of these thermal vents now seen on the V3 to help with cooling while in operation. Now let's dig into the specs. Starting with video, the V3 features a 1080p live view up from the 720p live view of the V2. This is thanks to the new Skylink 2.0 transmission protocol, which also boasts over nine miles of signal range for the Enterprise V3, slightly better than the eight mile range of the V2. As mentioned in a previous video, the V3 also features an additional 900 megahertz option for radio control in situations where transmission may be difficult. As for the payload, the Dual 640T module features a 0.8 inch CMOS RGB sensor, which offers more than double the surface area of the half inch sensor on the V2. We still keep the 16 times digital zoom as before, but we can now take images up to 50 megapixels, a slight upgrade from 48. The added size and sensitivity lends itself well to the new Moonlight Algorithm 2.0, which uses software processing to give us a much more decipherable low light experience than the previous model. The thermal sensor is essentially the same as what we're familiar with with the other Evo models so far, but this time it can record at 30 frames per second. What has always been the focus of the Enterprise models is the available accessories. The V3 box includes a strobe attachment for night operations, a spotlight for searches, and this loudspeaker attachment that packs a new ability. With the latest firmware, the Evo 2 Enterprise V3 can now broadcast live audio from the remote, a feature we look forward to testing out in depth in a future video. With the V3, we also welcome back the inclusion of real-time video broadcasting with the upgraded Live Deck 2. We'll definitely be diving into this in a future video as well. And finally, let's talk about the new remote controllers. In our previous video, we introduced you to the Smart Controller V3 and the Smart Controller SE, essentially a smaller, lighter version of the V3 with a removable battery. This is the first Evo Enterprise to come bundled with a Smart Controller included, and we definitely consider it a welcome addition. The SE controller's value lies in portability, especially for first responders, both the SE controller and the aircraft could easily fit into a backpack. That being said, it doesn't compromise much on features either. It still features a full-size HDMI out port, and I can say that the lower price on the SE does not translate to a loss in build quality. With everything new on the updated Evo 2 Enterprise, what do you guys think is going to be the most useful feature? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about getting your hands on the new Evo 2 Enterprise V3, we'll include a link in the video description. As always, be sure to keep subscribed to this channel for more drone updates.